when Lou explained his fiscal philosophy, saying, quote, I describe budgets as tapestry. When it's woven together, the picture amounts to our hopes and dreams of a nation. <laughs> President Obama announced the nomination of his White House Chief of Staff, Jack Lou, for Treasury Secretary. But Lou's bizarre signature, as you saw there, is what's really making some headlines. Take a look at this. It's sort of like a, a telephone cord or a bunch of curly fries. And guess what? If he gets that job... Well, those squiggles will be on all of our bills. Yeah, here's a sample of what a new dollar bill will look like with Lou's signature in the bottom right corner there, uh, which made all of us kind of start to think, what does your handwriting reveal and what is in a signature? Document examiner Kurt Baggett joins us now uh, from Dallas, and there is a bit of a delay, so I want everyone at home to be uh, just bear with us. So let's start with Jack Lou. Can you take anything away from just that line of squiggles. Oh, sure, you can see a lot. And tell us what you said. Uh, well, uh, almost nothing. Uh, <laughs> Jack Lou wants you to know nothing about what he's thinking or about what he's doing. You could almost see the J in the first letter. Alternative is you see nothing else, but it does reveal something. What it reveals because of the circles is that he's a methodical and deliberate thinker. So he doesn't want you to know he doesn't, he doesn't display any of his personality in each letter because there's no letters there. What it does show you, however, is that he's a takeover king, kind of like you, Victor, oh. and, and of course Randy. It, the, beginning, the large beginning strokes indicate that he loves responsibility. As the end strokes is a little caution, but he's the kind of guy that's spends a lot of time by himself. He's very happy with himself. He probably eats lunch at his desk every day. Mm. If the end strokes and many of his signatures go up, which is a contradiction in what we what little we see in his signature because it indicates that he wants to be the center of attention, but he didn't want to tell you anything about himself. Yeah, I mean So you see a lot even though he doesn't show it. It doesn't much. even look like his name though. Mm. I, I gotta say, um, I think our signatures look a little more like our, our real names. So I, I want I want you to take a look um, at, at my uh, writing that we sent you yesterday um, as an example, and then we'll do Victor's. But take a look here. So this is what I sent you, Kurt. Um, tell me what what you can about my sloppy handwriting. Well, I knew you were pretty, but you're even prettier than your handwriting indicates. It shows me that you're very very nice. The average IQ of your staff friend is about 145. Oh, yeah. You know, Mensa Genius is 139. And on top of that, you analyze everything instantly. You can't stand slow thinkers, slow movers, dummies, or signal lights. <laughs> and look at your large D in the Dear Kurt. You are takeover queen, too, which is a contradiction because so is Victor. You love responsibility. You're going to be in charge one way or the other. You will take over. You have a little irritation going on when you were writing this, and something happened to you when you was about 12 years old, which is a trauma. I do not know what it is. Oh you have goodness. an eternal quest for knowledge. You learn. You love to learn. You have an eternal quest for knowledge, which means you probably read a lot if you have time. You have a, probably have a sugar problem because you note that your handwriting, even and from one word to the other, leans to the right, which means you're very outgoing, caring, friendly, and then it goes to the left, which means that you go back into your shell, which probably means that you have a... You have an emotional uh, sugar problem. Oh, my goodness. Right. Wow. I, I feel like I need some therapy after that analysis. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, okay. no, you're great. <laughs> I pronounce you in good mental, good mental health. Excellent. Right, so Thank you. It's my turn. Let's put up my letter to you, Kurt, uh, up on the screen. And what does my, oh, uh, this is bad. What does my handwriting say about me? Well, you, you got a. You got an injury across the shoulder, or collarbone, or neck. Did you play football, Victor? I did. And look at your first. But I did go back after I heard about your your uh, findings and started searching, and I did find a, a scar on my left shoulder. But go ahead. We'll go. <laughs> the big beginning letter in the D indicates that you too are a takeover king. You see, and uh, and and uh, oh, I forgot to tell Randy she's a control freak too, but. <laughs> He knows you have a really big Got it. ego, and you develop some caution, but your writing is very large, Victor, which indicates that you, you're you a really fun guy. You'd be fun at the party. You're also a loner. You think you can do the job all by yourself, 
and you don't trust anybody. But you are super, super smart, and you too are a control freak. You guys have a little conflict there every now and then. You don't like to be forced to do something, uh, Victor. If somebody tries to force you to do something, sometimes you do just the opposite. I think they call that defiance, and you... Occasionally, you have a little overdose of that that jumps up. Wow. Hey, Randy, you really enjoy this so much. I am enjoying this. I especially like the ego part. That was my favorite. I did not I, have a I'm wondering ego. if we should have pre-taped this with him. We could have edited some yeah, of the negative some of things out. out. But um, we also have a couple of our, our staff members that also sent you uh, some examples. Uh, one of our producers, um, uh, Harrison, he says um, that our executive producer, Nora, is probably the meanest on the team. <laughs> I know you have a sample from her. We don't really believe that. We love Nora. But um, take a look at Nora's sampling and tell us what you think. She's the boss around here. Well, I would not want Nora after me if I didn't want to get caught. She'd make a great detective. <laughs> uh, she, she, she is not mean. She is uh, sarcastic sometimes, very much so. She needs more physical activity. And Nora, what is your little issue with organized religion? Oh. You are so smart, too. And you analyze everything instantly like these other two guys. And you're very, very frustrated. You have a desire to acquire things. You're a really good listener, con contrast to what uh, Randy says about you. <laughs> and he, he used, and I won't talk about your sex life, but honey, it was dynamite, wasn't it? Oh, oh Randy, Randy, I can't. Can't. <laughs> Thank wow. you so much. I am um, I was thrilled that you didn't bring that up in, in our handwriting. Right? Um, poor Nora. Sorry. It's a good thing we don't have a control well, room on you, Nora, in the uh, control room. Uh, a camera on you in the control room. Uh, Kurt Baggett, thank you very much. That was quite entertaining. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Apparently, we're both trying to take over. <laughs> I have a huge ego. Listen, you just keep your ego in check. I'm going to take anybody. over now. I'm going to take it over. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was Ooh. fun. It was fun. Thank you, Kurt. Um, coming up.